Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm showing you guys an awesome G.I. Joe set. This is the U.S. Army Courier and WLA-45 Harley Davidson. And I've had a lot of you recommend that I start picking up G.I. Joe vehicles. In particular, one of my subscribers asked that I pick this one up. So I finally did. And uh, I really got this for a great price. It was $35 um, with shipping. Um, it was a bidding war, and I just happened to win in the last minute. And I was really surprised it didn't go up higher because, from what I could tell, these go up to like close to 100 bucks. So really a steal, considering uh, just how beautiful this GI Joe set is. Um, like I said, this is my first vehicle, um, so I'm really excited about this. And I was so impressed with just how this looks that I thought I would show you guys um, what it looks like inside of the box, because um, really this. I mean, this just looks great. I don't know if my phone is doing this justice, but really beautiful set here. Um, so what I was thinking is I'll just uh, briefly show you guys what it looks like in the box and what the box looks like. And then if you stick around, I will uh, take him out and show you everything in detail. Um, I was honestly considering keeping this in the box just because this looks so good. Um, <laughs> but you know me, guys. I have to take things out of the box uh, to show you everything. Um, yeah. Anyway, let's get started. Uh, so here's the front of the box. Uh, really, really beautiful. I love the Harley Davidson logo there. Uh, just everything about this box looks really good. Um, but there's an up close of the figure and the motorcycle. All right, up top you have the equipment list. Uh, uh, this guy comes with a lot of stuff. Uh, it's part of the classic collection. Okay, we've got a few pictures of the figure. And it comes with a stand, which is really cool as well. Another picture on this side. And the back of the box is also equally as beautiful. There's your description and beautiful artwork as always. Really, really nice. And there's also some pictures down here from some real pictures. If you want to take a look at those. All right, guys. So there he is inside of the box. Uh, like I said, as you can tell, this is a really beautiful set. So uh, just give me a minute and I will take him out of the box for you. All right, guys. Took a little while to get everything out of the box, but here he is on display and he looks fantastic with his motorcycle. Let's just take a moment and look at the figure and the motorcycle and then I'll get into things in more detail. All right, so I guess I'll show you the figure first. Let me get this on my tripod. Get that in focus for you. And I'm gonna take the figure off. All right, this is a really cool figure. It's a, uh, I mean, this came out in 1998, I think, or 1999. So it's definitely older. You can tell by the the rubber hands. He doesn't have the movable uh, fingers, which is kind of a bummer, but it's okay. Uh, still a very cool figure. It comes with some cool stuff here. All right, let's take a look at his uh, goggles and his uh, cap on. Very cool. Really like those goggles a lot. Those look good. Yeah, 
and this is a very cool head sculpt. You don't see this one a lot uh, with the black haired version of this head sculpt. It's kind of a rare one. So that's pretty cool. Looks good. Good detail. Um, as for equipment, he's got a belt here. Got some pouches there, most likely for his ammo. Got a canteen. Alright, he does have a pistol as well. Very cool. And let me try to get this in his hand. Uh, these guys definitely don't hold their weapons as well as opposed to the movable uh, fingers, figures. But still pretty cool. <clears throat> um, as for his uniform, uh, this is really cool. He has a tie just tucked into his shirt. That's very cool. And you can also see his dog tag sticking out there. And I really like this guy's boots. These are really cool. Alright, so I think that's it for the figure. Very cool figure. Um, but I think the coolest thing about this set, guys, is the motorcycle. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. <clears throat> I'll get the figure out of the way. Alright, so here it is on its display stand. And I think that's really cool that they included display stands. Let me take it off. Alright, this is really beautiful. Uh, great detail. Really good detail. Um, just, yeah, it looks great. And I'm trying to get this uh, all on my screen here. It's a little difficult. Like I said, this is my first vehicle video, so kind of new at reviewing vehicles. Alright, but let's take a look at some of these specifics on here. Um, in the front, you see he has a, the vehicle has a, a, uh, a Tommy gun here with a case in the front, a wooden case. And that looks really cool. Here's the Tommy gun. Not too much detail with this. Uh, this is one of their older figures, so the detail isn't uh, wonderful, but still cool. And actually, let me bring the figure back. And I'll just put that in his hands for you. Okay, so there he is with that. Alright, so that's really cool. I love that uh, the wooden case that is attached onto here. That's really, really cool. Um, let's take a look at the front. Got some very nice detailing here. Very cool rubber tires. Okay, some other functions. Uh, the seat pops up. And you can see the motor. And some more details up front. Try to get that in focus. Alright, on this side, uh, we have another uh, great detail here. Uh, I believe this is the movable uh, gear shift there. Okay, got the brake front. Also, we have um, this piece, which does pop out, and that is um, the front stand, and in the back is a rear stand, which can come over. I really like these pouches in the back. Let me look at the name. Uh, they're called saddlebags, uh, but these are really cool. 
I like the leather material or imitation leather. It looks very nice. And there's the back of it. Looks great. Alright guys, so I think that's pretty much it. I'm just trying to see if there's anything else to show you. Um, really a beautiful vehicle here. I'm so excited to finally have a G.I. Joe vehicle. I've been wanting one for a while. Uh, so this is a great first vehicle. And the figure is also very cool. Uh, it really just looks great on display. I'm really looking forward to displaying this somewhere. Honestly, I'm running out of room. So I'm going to have to try to find a place to put this. But awesome set. I highly recommend getting this, guys, if you can. Uh, it's not very rare, but prices can be a little high sometimes. But I totally recommend this, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, stay tuned for my next video.